Our two Treasure Coast school custodians have been arrested in the past week, one on drug charges, the other on possession of child pornography. Now, how tough is the vetting process for these workers who are around our children every day? We sent in contact five investigator Dave Bowman to find out. Martin County Schools hosted a job fair this afternoon, and those applying for custodial jobs are told they have to pass the same background check as teachers. That's true of every school district in the state of Florida. We checked the backgrounds of the teenage janitor arrested for possessing drugs at this school in St. Lucie County and the 32-year-old custodian at Jensen Beach High charged with possessing child porn. We found neither had a criminal history. Everyone in Florida, from superintendents to bus drivers, have to pass a drug test and a check to see if they've committed crimes that would disqualify them from working in schools. Everybody has to be local, state, and federally background checked. Fingerprints are sent through the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. They are sent to the FBI. Jennifer DeShazio is the public information officer for Martin County Schools. She says school systems across Florida are struggling to fill custodial positions, not necessarily because of stringent background checks. We gathered salary information from the largest Treasure Coast school districts. In St. Lucie County, there are six custodial openings with years yearly salaries of between thirty and forty thousand dollars. There are eleven custodial openings in Martin County with salaries starting at roughly thirty one thousand a year. And it is a challenge to, to retain people in those positions and, and hire people and you know just attract top talent. They are being tasked with working around children in an educational facility and that they take that very seriously because at the end of the day we're all about educating and protecting our children. Custodial workers are hard to find and keep especially in this tight labor market but school officials here in Martin County and across the area say they can't and won't stop the rigorous process for checking backgrounds for those applying for work. In Martin County, I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.